No Earth or non-Earth teacher is more wise than you. January 28, 2014 Dear Ones Perhaps you are wondering if this woo-woo stuff is real. What if this transition is another 3D illusion to maintain your beingness within a certain parameter? Yet another way of keeping you in line. Granted, the bad kids of yesterday are being outed, but are the good kids of today any different? Many are now declaring that such thoughts are anti-something. But is this not something you need to explore for yourself? For indeed, if you follow others, church and government leaders of the past or new earth teachers of today, is there any difference? If you are following anyone, including a new earth teacher, without running the information through your inner being and adding your personal pieces to the mix, you are little different from what was true before this transition began. This transition is a reality, as many of you can attest via physical and emotional changes. But not a mass transition of one path with only a few people having information you need for your shift. There are many who have pieces that they gladly share via the internet, books, seminars and various other multimedia formats. But those pieces are not meant to be the only information you gather. You are the one experiencing the issues important to you. So your inner directive is to only take pieces from others that will enhance the path designed by you, for you. No one else can create your path or even an easier path. Many of you of the fast food and MTV generations, wish all to be done easily and quickly. And so it is and will be, if you take responsibility for yourself. The quick fix gurus of New Earth are wonderful role models, but they are not your guru. Even though they may have found elements right for them, you are a different individual in a different place. No one but you has the answer to your issues. You can share, exchange, contemplate and mull over thoughts and feelings with others. But there is no shortcut to expedite your journey even though someone tells you they have all the answers. This transition is keyed into easy, but not so easy that you can take yourself out of the equation. If you insist that all will be well as long as you meditate like Tony, or follow the dictates or rule of a seminar created by Holly, you have not yet found your balance. This is a different age than you have ever experienced on Earth. It is not about following, it is about creating. Creating everything in your life anew, including new ways of assimilating and dispersing information. You are familiar with the concept if it feels right, it is right for you. We are adding yet another dimension. If the creation feels right, it is right for you. Even though those words are not quite accurate, suffice it for you to know that you are a unique individual for a reason. Could you create a diverse new earth if all were solving an issue in the same way? Which is little different from those old age authors who insist all women, Native Americans or whatever group think and act like this or that. This transition is one of great diversity so that all your children, grandchildren and great-grandchildren will be equally comfortable in New Earth. This New Earth is not about limitations, but extremely broad horizons. Such is only possible if you allow, demand, and create the life right for you. And perhaps doing so by taking pieces from others, and then reshaping those pieces into a life that is absolutely correct for you and you alone. This is not a cookie-cutter age. This is a free-flowing, free-design, creation of the new you. Perhaps such thoughts frighten you. For how will you know you are creating a new free-flowing you? By the level of joy you feel. Following another's thoughts or dictates might feel right initially, but will wear on you eventually. The new earth pieces now being shared are meant to be explored and reworked into the new you. You will find yourself enamored of one person's information this week and bored the next, as it should be. For once you have gathered and reworked that information, you will move on. This is not to say you need be ashamed of following someone for any length of time. But instead, you are following that person not to be that person, but to gather more pieces of their information for the new you. And you will just know deep within you when you are satiated with that person's information. You are not being chided for following the words or messages of others, that is how you learn. Some of you believe there are many fine new earth teachers now on earth, 
but only those from another dimension or time are all-knowing, and so their messages must be followed exactly. Other dimension, other time teachers are no more wise than you. You are all gods and goddesses, and always have been. You are the ones living in a 3D world transitioning into something no one on earth has ever experienced. Those observing in other dimensions, times or places cannot know what you are experiencing on the ground. So as is true for any new earth teacher of earth, information you gather from other places and times, needs to be reworked according to your being. You are your compass. You are your future, your past and your now. Allow yourself to remember that the next time you feel guilty for not meditating or eating the correct foods. For guilt will tell you that it is not the correct direction for you. Joy is your compass and your new inner being. So be it. Amen. Channeled by Brenda Hoffman. www.lifetapestrycreations.com